Hi. Well, Pat and I are back from England. Um, and it was okay. What? Okay? Pat and I were taken directly to Windsor Castle. We were given an apartment that Maggie Thatcher stayed in when she was there. And we lived at the castle for 10 days or so, and it was unbelievable. Within a few hours of arrival, I was riding Hawk, one of the Willing Partners horses, in a rehearsal for the Diamond Jubilee for the Queen of England. And I was leading in all the Queen's horses gathering. There were a thousand horses in the arena at one point in time as they gathered all the coaches and the, the armies and the, you know, the bands and the whole thing on horseback. It was unbelievable. Pat and I had to wear human clothes every day for various receptions of one sort or another and to meet the queen here and to meet the queen there. And I never had a chance to really speak with her because we were always in public with a very formal meeting. The queen is the hardest working woman for her age of anybody I have ever seen in my life. The whole time we were there, she was getting up early every morning and had receptions all day, but only after she read from two to three hours of all the political things that she had to worry about on a given day. This lady will go down in history as one of the hardest working human beings ever. IFG, influence for good. Queen Elizabeth II, the world's leading world leader in causing man to have a better relationship with animals. No world leader has ever come close. It's unbelievable. I have to just keep pinching myself all the time to realize that it's still real and I'm awake and the nerves are still there, but it's not something you ever become completely accustomed to. Standing with Prince Philip while the Queen meets the dignitaries of 30 or 40 different countries on a given afternoon, uh, visiting with the Queen for a few minutes and sending her off to another reception, and then going and getting in my boots and my shaps and ready to ride again. It's just too much for this uh, California cowboy to assimilate, but I'm working on it and it's fun. Um, things are happening so fast. I'm getting word from Brazil that one of the areas in Brazil where therapeutic riding is concerned has increased their volunteership about 300% since they got the news that the Queen is uh, assisting Brazil through these certificates in, in uh, citing the people that are doing good.